Well, hello everybody. This is uh, Nate, and this is my Nana Reef channel. And as promised, I have got a couple little fish today to add to our aquarium to kind of go through the final cycle sequences. So I was a little worried before because I, when I stirred up the sand, I realized I put so much sand in here that all the sediment, all the stuff in there made it so mucky. So I had to do about a 30% water change and I took um, a big chunk of the sand out of there just because I don't need all of that in this little tank. It was actually making the, the water quality very poor. Um, and so it is filtering a little bit. I'm gonna let these guys sit in here probably for another 20, uh, 15 minutes and then maybe add a little bit of this water once it clears up some more. I, I went ahead and put this, added this stuff. I got this at the local fish store as well. Just some biomatter stuff to throw within the, the uh, chamber in the back there. Um, and then it put some fresh filter frost in. So I, I think the water will clear up a little bit. It just was like all the sediment, but I definitely don't want to add these guys in the water when the conditions don't match or at least align um, in terms of their comfort. But all in all, in terms of my parameters today, I tested it and I had posted a video earlier and it looked like I just had a little bit of nitrates and a little bit of ammonia left, but it was going down or was really stabilizing. So that's a good sign. That usually means you're at the end of the cycle for the most part. And this uh, tank is messy, has some scratches, but um, the good news being that um, I, did a, I did a water change, checked the salinity, so it looks pretty good. The temperature's uh, rocking around 75 degrees right now. Uh, I may turn it up a little bit and just see what's comfortable for these guys. Um, but again, I'm just letting the water clear out. And I keep moving this rock around, which is another thing. This rock is going to be a main host for a lot of the biomatter. As you can see, I already have a little bit of algae growing on it because I've been running this light, which I probably should limit that but i've been trying to kind of mess the tank up so to speak a little bit and get it grimy just so we can get this cycle rolling um but yeah it's looking like it's going to make it uh good i'm just going to wait a little bit longer for the water to clear and then we'll drop our guys in here so talking about the two clownfish here um to my knowledge uh these are the the one in front the smaller one is a mocha storm clown and then the one in the back is just a storm um, but I could have got that wrong. I think that's what he said. Um, they were not cheap. They were not your average uh, clownfish. I usually have gone for this, uh, the regular bleed of my past, but I wanted to get something special for this tank. And I've been going to work really hard on keeping it nice and water quality. Good for these guys, inhabitants, get them some an an anemones, maybe get some corals someday, and play around with this rock layout. So one thing I've talked about a little bit is... I have this big giant rock, it's got a lot of crevices, it's got a really cool shape. It's actually a shell I put up there. And I'm not sure if I want to break it, I like put a couple of little ones in there. I won't break this one up because it's just such a gorgeous piece of live rock that I used to have a long time ago that unfortunately uh, I took it out and it didn't cure. So, but I'm going to bring it back to life along with give it some new inhabitants. Uh, and I think they'll like it. I think down there we'll be able to put some cool stuff on that ridge when it's ready in a few months. But for now, we'll just see how our new friends enjoy the tank. Lastly, I was thinking about names. Uh, and I came up with, that's, that's, she's good. That's Fizzy Bubbly and that's Mochaccino. Cause that's a, a Mocha, Mocha Storm Clown, so I call, and I call this one Fizzy Bubbly. Um, it's got little lips and it's got these little dots everywhere and it's like a fizzle orange and white and this is mochaccino so those are my names for my fish subject to change but I'm happy and excited to have them be a part of the uh, tank and we'll see where we go with our two new little inhabitants so excited thanks for watching